Let's just make it. Hello and welcome to episode 40 of Into the Podcast. I am your host, Samuel, and I'm joined by the delightful Ryan. How are you, baby boy? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? I'm all right, you know, mate. I'm feeling I'm feeling quite nice. That's, I've, that's nice. Yeah, I've, I've, had, I've had a couple of nice little weekends and work's not been horrendous and, you know, just Lovely. Things, things are all right at the minute, which we like, don't we? That's that's what we like to hear, it's yeah. I'm, it's because I've applied for a new job, that's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they say no, I'm going to be miserable as my heart Yeah, again. yeah, at the moment there's hope. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, right, so quick intro then. Um, because it's holiday season, we've both got a bit of time away coming up. We are going to try and blast out over the next month. Just some hour-long themed episode for you guys. We're going to try mm-hmm. and multi-record, so do a couple of episodes in a night and then the next one. So we will apologise now. There may be the odd episode that comes out sort of on a Monday evening or a Tuesday morning, um, just because of timings and how it's going to work and how we're going to get together. Because, as you know, me and Ryan are busy people. Very busy, and it's, you know, it's holiday season. Exactly, and we would rather give you something than nothing at all. You've just had a week without an episode. I know. And we can't do that shit to you again. Exactly. We even thought about replacing Ryan at one point with a door. <laughs> We, Just we as interesting. We didn't think it'd be that chatty. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go. It's August. It's holiday season. So what are we going to do around this beautiful sunny time? <gasps> Monsters. Horror. <laughs> we're going to go horror. Not we, save that for October. We love horror. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're not going to tell you what each episode is, but this week we're going to look at zombies, just zombies in general as a genre um, and then each week for the next four weeks, we're going to bring you a new monster or a new type of like scary thing. Yeah. And we're just going to chat it through, talk about our decisions um, on what we like and what we don't, whether they're scary, whether they're not, and just have a good old chat. But there will always be snacks. Always snacks. We never go without snacks. Because you messed me, didn't you, Ryan, saying um, we'll just get rid of every single like segment we've got. Yeah. Next message, apart from Snack of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's the OG segment that we, we, we can never get rid of it. We'll never get rid of it. You know, we need at least one Drew moment oh, in God, every yeah. episode. Of course. Plus, it's, not, it's not about us. It's not about us getting fed. It's about uh, Drew. Well, and the second part I was going to say is we need to be fed. We do need to be fed. In fact, right now, uh, Josh, you know, the man behind man behind the mask that doesn't talk, is in the kitchen cooking for us. I know. Because we're well, rushing around trying to get a couple of episodes done tonight. Oh, lovely man. I know. And it's Monday now. This episode should have come out this today. morning. So we're going to record this, edit it really quickly and throw it up. So when it doesn't work properly, that's why. Yeah. Um, it's not my usual bad editing. This yeah. was purposeful <laughs> bad editing. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. straight in with zombies then, shall we? Zombies. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so, zombies for me, I'll go straight in there, possibly one of the best things in horror. I would totally agree with that. I would say it's my favourite horror genre. I would say favourite, not scariest. Scariest we're going to look at a bit further on down the line. Absolutely. I don't think... There's not many zombie films that I find scary. No, I think I'd agree with you. Although I did re-watch a zombie film recently and I forgot how creepy it actually is. I re-watched World War Z. Z. Oh, yeah. Fuck me, them zombies are terrifying, They're so man. weird because they're like, they just all like clamber over each other and really they're fast. Clunky and, like, and, they and sprint. Yeah, and, and the, thing, the thing that makes them less scary for me is they're very CGI'd. I think that's a problem. Yeah, in a they lot are. Of, in lot, like, obviously, because they have the big, massive scale, yeah, don't yeah, they? Yeah. And what... I love that film because although it's like a 12, I think, a rating. So there's, it's not. There's no gore in it. There's not a single bit of gore in that film. It's a 12. I'm sure it's a 12. Right. Talk while I search this. Because that film terrified me when I watched it the other day. I was like, shit. Yeah, man. like, so it's all about the story. Like, but if you think in that film, I don't think there's, you see any gore. Because normally with zombie films, you have the brains like splattered. Oh, of or, course. Yeah. Or, you know, like limbs chopped off and people torn to shreds and eaten you know you think of any episode of the walking dead you know where it's they're just horrific in that there's nothing even the bit where brad pitt saves 
the female soldier when she gets bit on the hand and he chops her hand off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't see it. It's like done off, off, off camera. Yeah, you do. I can't actually find what the rating is, what I'm on. But um, when you look at the parents' guide, sex and nudity, none. Violence and gore, moderate. Yeah. Profanity, mild. Alcohol, drugs and smoking, mild. Frightening, intense scenes, moderate. So actually, it's all in the lower level, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's nice about that film is most zombie films, generally, I'm generalizing here, because we're just generalizing for this whole episode, probably. It, they seem to, they usually take place after, like, the outbreak. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, how many times we've seen it, like, the start of The Walking Dead, or, like, 28 Days Later, or whatever. It's like, oh, they wake up from a coma, or, the you know, suddenly it's set, it's set after the big outbreak, and the world's already been destroyed, and it's now, like, little pockets of survivors. Whereas World War Z was very much like, it's just starting and it's a big scale, isn't it? It's not like, oh, it's starting, but it's just in your little local neighborhood. It is what would happen in the, every city around the world. Oh, yeah. And I love the scale of that. So it throws you in it. So that's really, I, I really like that film. Plus Brad Pitt's just cool, isn't he? Idris Elba's in this film. I liked him. Is he? Idris Elba plays one of the like commanders in the, um, in the UN well, when they're talking to him in the UN, oh, around right. the UN table, he's one of the commanders. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, he said, I didn't mind him in this because yeah. he's not... He's quite a minor character. He's a minor character and he's not being Idris Elba of, yeah. look at me, I'm Idris Elba. So I was like, oh, cool, Idris Elba's in nice. this. Nice. He's yeah. also in 28 Weeks Later. Which I watched half of recently. I watched that a couple of weeks ago. I fell asleep. I was fucking knackered. Yeah. But I fell asleep during that. God, I forgot how much I hate Robert Carlyle in that opening scene. Oh, my God. What a great opening scene, oh, though. Right, let's say now. The best zombie film of all time. 28 Days Later. 28 Days Later. Love 28 Weeks Later. They got the zombie fucking genre perfect. The music is terrifying. Yeah. Catchy. If you hear that, you know mm. what it's from. Oh, yeah. It's scary. The The zombies themselves are terrifying. The zombies are awful. They do, they do really really good shit that I like like in 28 weeks later when the blood drops in his eye yeah um oh god it's such a good fucking film man yeah films Tw- yeah both of them i mean I, 28, I, weeks, I, 28 days later is the better one 20 days later i i stand by that that's i think that's the the greatest zombie film of all time one of the best horrors in my yeah. eyes because it's all filmed on like handheld cameras mm-hmm. they get those incredible shots of london just like abandoned um and yeah, the zombies are terrifying. They 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 sprint after you. It's horrific sounds. Like there's so many scenes that are, that give me the creeps. Like the bit where they're running up the blo- the block of flats up the stairs. Yeah, being chased upstairs is just scary anyway. Even in your own house, if you're being chased chased by like anyone, someone that you know, and it's still terrifying. Because so- you you know that they've got an advantage because your bottom half is at their top half. Yeah, and it's, so it's vulnerable. So that bit where they're just get, running up the stairs and it's just zombies sprinting up the stairs after them. Oh my God, awful. It's awful. But um, Killian Murphy, that's yeah. the film that introduced introduced Killian Murphy to the world in a yeah. lot of ways. I think he'd only done a couple of like Irish films by that point. And I became obsessed with Killian Murphy at that point. But, did you? Yeah, I really did. Um, yeah, it's... But he wasn't in a lot, so there's not a lot of other things that I could watch him yeah, in. And then, I, saw, yeah, and then yeah. I was like, oh my God, he's in Batman, which came out like a couple of years later, like yeah, Batman yeah, Begins yeah. and stuff. But um, yeah, what I really like is 28 Weeks Later. It's quite a different film. I felt like the opening scene was literally a continuation of um, of that sort of, that feel. Do you know what I mean? That, yeah, that world. Course. But then it sort of changed and it became a little bit more Hollywood eyes because it was like... The US Army's here and, you know... Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner. Mm. Again, an unknown at that point, really. Yeah, because I think the only other thing I'd properly seen him in at that point was he played Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, really? In a film, yeah. I think it's just called Dahmer, the film. It's actually really good. Um, sorry, there's stuff going on on this computer. Like, just a rattle, lot of noise. Rattling away. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I had... First time I'd ever seen Jeremy Renner was his depiction of Jeffrey Dahmer, and I was ma- I'm big into serial killers anyway. Yeah. So I was like, fuck, I really enjoyed this. I didn't know much about Dahmer himself. Obviously, this was pre the TV show when... Um, what's his name? Evan Peters. Yeah, yeah. Like, smashed it. Um, yeah, so to see him in this, I was like, oh, fuck, yeah. And I was like, there's Dahmer. 
Yeah. And that scene where he's pushing the car on fire. Oh my god, yeah. Oh mate. It's cool. I, I his character is cool as fuck in that. Random fact. You know on Call of Duty how you can always have um you can have create your classes and you can name them. I always had a class named after his character Doyle and Did it was you? always I always had the same setup that he had which is like he's got like the sniper doesn't he has like the it's like a marksman rifle like yeah, the yeah, EBR yeah. and then he'd have like an M4 or something so I'd always have on Call of Duty a class named after him it would be a Doyle class and it would be a sniper and uh assault rifle that's cool as shit yeah. i love that like ever, ever since like that film came out in like 2007 or something <laughs> so since cod 4 even to now on warzone i've still got a doyle still class got your doyle. Yeah. i mean that's pretty much my class all the time i am the doyle yeah 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 it's, i mean it's a great setup but it's just not one that i use very often because you know I'm a, I'm a shotgun man oh i know you're a shotgun man these days so i think i think the other thing so when you look at the evolution of zombies so we go back to like uh george ramirez uh, Night of the Living Dead. Classics. You, the, it, and it is a fucking classic. It was 1968, was it? Which is insane. I know. And I think that was, if I'm right, I think that might have been the first depiction of proper zombies in a film. Yeah, it I was, think you're right. Um, and he took the idea from I Am Legend, the, the book. Oh, was it? Yeah, which I'm, I don't know if you've ever read the book. The book's actually Vampires. I haven't, no. I haven't yeah, read the book. It's really small as well. Worth Like, I can read it. It's small. Right, it's okay. Small yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so... So we go back to them where they are just literally, they are tiptoeing everywhere. They're small. They're just, oh. They're shuffling dead, aren't they? They're yeah. literally they're just like reanimated dead. Yeah. That's it. From that, just brain dead, move, get flesh. Well, but when you think about it early, it was brains, brains. Yeah. Then it was just any flesh. Yeah. Then it was just any living yeah. flesh. So we look at, so from Ramirez to World War Z to, um, uh, 28 days later where they're sprinting but then you kind of got that middle ground as well where you know like they go back to their primitive nature of going to the mall yeah oh, do you know yeah. what i mean yeah 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 so yeah. what what films the mall one that's um, it's, um that's dawn of, dawn the, dead, of the dead isn't, dead, it? isn't so, it so so the first first one ever was night of the living dead wasn't it, was, it? Yeah. which is like in black and white yeah. and just in a house, little co- like little house. Yeah, thing. yeah. The, the the classic story, hold up in a house. And it's like literally one night, the undead chase them, and they got to, you know, try and survive, which still holds up really well. Actually, I've watched it in um, they've remastered it in color. Oh, have they? Doesn't feel the same. No, because I've obviously it in the black colors like quite saturated, but the black and white gives it the creepy feel. Um, I feel like that film was so ahead of its time, especially because they have the the protagonist is black. So he's the lead in it. And obviously there's like the, con- the controversy at the end where, do we do spoilers? Yeah. Yeah. It's 1968. Fine. Man. So obviously he gets, he survives the night, survives the zombies. He's the hero. And then he gets shot at the end um, by all like the rednecks. Yeah. Because they think he's just a zombie. Yeah. So it's like fucking hell. And like that's- 1968 or whatever. Yeah. That's insane. That's like so ahead of its time. So it's got all that like, the undertones of like racism and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's not just like a mindless zombie film and it still holds up well. Like obviously the violence, like you don't see a lot of it. Like, you know, he'll grab someone and pull the, shove them down off screen. So the camera will be up at his face and then he'll be hitting someone with like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know what they call it, like tire iron or whatever they call yeah, them yeah, over yeah. there. So you don't, again, don't see any blood in, or anything, but that's still a quality film. And then it was Dawn of the Dead, I think, which is the mall, yeah. which is, probably for me the second greatest zombie it's film brilliant because i love that idea of when these motherfuckers aren't eating brains they just go back to what they normally do yeah just revert back to like yeah, they just go to the mall and they yeah. just walk around falling over just fucking go, golf clubs yeah just go <laughs> go back to like things that they would do normally like an autopilot and just shuffle around and that's such a cool concept like that you like right they get out of the city like two swat guys like a reporter and his missus or whatever get the helicopter there and they just, what a great idea. You go to the mall because you've got everything you could possibly yeah. want. Food, weapons, clothing, and it's all lockable. It's all defensible. You know, fantastic. And that, that's got to be one of the main, main reasons now why everyone goes, what would you do in a zombie apocalypse? Absolutely. And I do think we discussed this before the episode's over. Oh, 100%. Definitely. Yeah. We'll, 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 end, uh, we'll end we'll on end that, shall we? That. Definitely. Because that is a brilliant idea. When yeah. you think about it. And oh, yeah. Oh, let's go there. But no, that's where they all are. Mm-hmm. And obviously from that, that spawned 
so many games. I mean, Dead Rising games are some of my favourite games. Yeah, you know, their quality. Just hordes of zombies in a fun... Wait, yeah, Frank, what's his name? Frank. Oh. Um, I, uh, I would think Frank Castle, but that's Punisher. Frank something or other. Yeah. Uh, but it's just a photographer going around, but you can get dressed up as a knight and yeah. create weapons. And make, make all these mad weapons. But the zombies are your classic zombies. They're the just, shuffling zombies. Yeah. So they're slow and, you know... As the game progresses, there becomes more and more of them and stuff. Yeah, so that's that's a quality game because most of the zombie games, the ones I've played anyway, tend to be more like your World War Z type where there's hordes of them and there's hundreds of them. We need to play that again. I know, yeah. We played. I think we played it once. Yeah, yeah. But I fucking love that game. Four player co It's just a rip-off, though, of Left 4 Dead. Of course it is. Which, uh, did you ever play Left 4 Dead? Yeah, yeah, I've got the second one on the PC. Left 4 Dead is my favourite zombie game of all time. It's terrifying. It's so... The witches. The witches that oh. streak there, awful. And then you've got the massive tanks. So obviously that's got your, your classic zombies, but they, they all sprint. There's hordes of them. But then they have like the special zombies, don't they? So yeah, like the witches or the tanks or the... The ones that... The, smoke, the, the smoker, the ones that like grab the tongue. Yeah. Um, the one that spits... Isn't the one that spits out like... Acid. acid that's they come into two i think right. the spitters um the hunters as yeah. well that pounce on you and i love that game because it's done like four chapters and it's done like four mini films and they're all they've got posters like the b movies you know i think what the first one you have to like get to the hospital and get the chopper out and stuff yes yeah. and um i remember getting that game specifically and it was when I was at uni and it was at Game Station mm -hmm. and that was back in the day where you'd go into somewhere like that and games were cheap. Oh and, God, yeah, and yeah, yeah. gaming was huge. Gaming is still massive, but it was a totally different kind of feel then. It wasn't just, just your big blockbuster releases. It you was, were picking up discs of games you've never heard of. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we were looking at games because we were in Halls of Residence then and they blocked online gaming with the internet. <gasps> so you no. couldn't game online. So you had to do like local gaming. And then the bloke recommended, he's like, no, nah, you want to get this Left 4 Dead game. And he's like, it is insane. So me and my mate Ash, we bought it, took it back that that day thinking, even back then the graphics weren't great. And it's like 2008, 2009. Yeah, yeah. But what a game. The amount of hours we put into that, it just took over like our lives. Oh, it's sure, so yeah. good. Like, and I love it how it counts up how many kills you've got. And like, if someone dies, it's like, oh, I'm like, you know, in memory of Papa Roast 88. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? And it's just like so cool. I love, love, love that game. Um, then obviously Resident Evils, which we spoke about a million yeah, times. Yeah, Resident Evils. Like, I mean, I love the Resident Evil games. They're some of my favourite games. But I still think Left 4 Dead as a game is probably the one I've, I've put so much hour, so many hours into that. And even now, I could pick that up because it's just a shooter, effectively. Oh, God. Like, yeah. I would love to play that now with, like, us lot. I'd like, you know, like, me, you, get, like, Kyle or whoever. And four of us, because it's four-player co-op, mm -hmm. drop in, drop out. We should definitely, definitely play that. Because even though it's old and retro, it's... Even at the, back in the day, it didn't look great. So yeah, it, and, and it's it still hold the, up now. It's still got the feel of, like, when you play Dead by Daylight and, and you're doing really well and someone blows up a... Fucking, um, what do you call it? Oh, a generator. A generator. You're like, you dickhead. Yeah. You're doing so well. That's the same one here, and it because you yeah. can't be really quiet. You quiet. can't be seen because as yeah. soon as you're seen, they all come. They all come. Yeah. So you someone shoots doing... and hits a car and sets the alarm and off, like, and you're like, and you just hear the horn coming, <laughs> like, fuck's sake. <laughs> but I love as well the end of each mission or each little story of the four campaigns is always ends with like effectively a horde mode. You yeah. have to wait until rescue comes, and I think and in one episode coming. it's like a chopper. The one, it's like a boat. Another one, like a tank turns up or whatever. So you, there's just hordes of it. It's so cool. It was like almost like the original horde mode in a lot of ways. Oh, yeah, yeah. So sure. that'd be cool like, if we could get like four of us doing that, just like holding like a farmhouse, just like mad guns. Well, if stuff. we can't get all of the Left 4 Dead films, we'll just, I think World War Z is free on Game Pass anyway. Yeah, so we'll yeah. just download it. Just do it's that because it's the same thing. thing. Like, yeah. It's been replicated a lot, hasn't it? Like yeah. Back for Blood was another one that's been done. Yeah, They're all just I didn't really get into that. No. If I'm honest with you, I didn't, because it was that, because World War Z, the gameplay was kind of ripped from Left 4 Dead. Oh, yeah. But it didn't, feel like Left 4 Dead because it kind of, I don't know, it had a different feel to it. Yeah. Whereas Back for Blood was a definite 100% rip-off of Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead's a better game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, well, I'd rather play Left 4 Dead than this. I know. I think why Left 4 Dead worked so well is because it was just so simple. There was yeah, like a, yeah. It was like a, 
there was literally like five guns in the entire game. Like it started with literally like a pump action shotgun or like a little mini submachine gun, which then you could upgrade to like an M16 or a fully auto shotgun. Yeah. And that was it. And you had like a pistol and you pick up a med kit and that's it. Yeah. There's literally nothing more to it than that. And you just fight hordes and hordes of zombies. Oh, and God, you got me going now. I really want to do this. as well. Like you'd hear like a hunter creeping around. You're like there's a hunter nearby and he just pounces on you. And if he pounces on you, you need a teammate to come get you. Otherwise you it rips to... you yeah, to shreds. Yeah, yeah, of course. So I just, ah, it's so cool. What a great game. And the fact that it's all stylized, like old B movies. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's just so, so cool. We'll have to play it. You've got me proper yeah. riled up now. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're 20 minutes in. Should we... Eat something. Yeah, because I'm feeling a bit snacky. Have a little snicky snacky snoon. Yeah, I did nip yeah. and get some bits on the way home from work. And I think I've got a couple of good bits. Oh, nice. What's the next episode, though? And like, you're really going to like that. Oh, I'm excited. Right. So uh, we can't do this without our boys. So, um, Drew, sing us in, baby. Here come Sam and Ryan, listen to them both speak. They've come for hours all with their pop culture critique. But are you even a nerd if you don't overread? So come on, everybody, it's the snack of the week. <laughs> Drew, 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 Drew. I love you. I love Drew. I love Drew too. I saw him today. Did you? I saw him yesterday as well. Stayed at my house last night. Why, why are you seeing Drew all the time? I'm seeing Drew on Monday. You are. And, I am. And I'm not here. And I'm glad you reminded me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> that's got nothing to do with me either. Like, that's just like you two or sort of that. <laughs> right, food. Go on. I got us. It says, have fun with pop dots. So I've got some sharing moment pop dots, mate. They're filled. I got these. They just look like little covered jam donuts. They look amazing. But they look a little bit like brains. Like ah, little, nice. like little pink brains. I and see I what like, you did there. We're doing, we're doing um, zombies. Yeah. And I was like, oh, is it close enough for ha- to Halloween for them to be Halloween sweets out yet? And it just don't, it just isn't. No. You can normally get brain fucking yeah. sweets. But Oh, and I went online. I went on Amazon to order some, and it was £10 a packet. What? I was like, I'm not, insane. Bit, I'm not doing that. These so, are banging. They do look great, don't they? Little pink donut brains. Little pop dots. So enjoy your brain, my friend. Thanks. Brain. Brain. <laughs> exactly what they are, little donuts. They're lovely. Mm, they are quite I lovely. I love donuts, donuts, yeah. Mm. I love donuts too. Mm. And the best thing is that outer icing, so it's like just a donut covered in white icing with some white chocolate on it the icing isn't too sweet yeah because some icing is really overpowering isn't it that's lovely just gives mm. it a little crunch mm. yeah that's mm. sweet. if this is what brains do taste like well it probably does to zombies to be fair. i totally get where they're coming from then all right do you want another one yeah go on then yeah we'll have one more one more because it comes with five so josh can have the fifth that's nice. Yeah. We're, tr- we're rewarding for cooking our tea for <laughs> us. Yeah. <laughs> Josh. There's a brain here for you. Oh, it seems like a lot of jam in it as well. Oh, I've got a lot of jam oh. in it. Have a brain, mate. Oh, these are good brains. These are delicious. Mm. Oh, get these again. Co op. £1.50. Hey. Can't go wrong. Well, that's good. Mm. So. We now know, don't worry about spilling, he did the exact same thing. <laughs> um, we now know what brains taste like to a zombie. Mm, so now we can get into their into their brains a little bit mm. and know why they do what they're doing. Yeah. Because let's let's discuss this. Why? Yeah, why? <laughs> hmm. The age old question. Why? <laughs> why do they die, come back to life and go, brains? Yeah, I'm going to eat. These people, yeah, hurt my own species, yeah. And this is, is it- one thing, isn't it? Because I in in most zombie films, they either just don't they just avoid an explanation, or the explanations are always we- really weird and a bit, quite, out there. A bit out there. Like even twenty eight days later, isn't like rage, rage filled monkeys that infect them. It is monkeys, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, right. Start, start the opening thing is them breaking the monkeys out of the cages, isn't it? Like the like a like a animals group. Yeah. And like, don't 
Free him, he's been infected with rage. No! <laughs> Not the rage monkeys. Don't do it now. Killian oh. Murphy's in a coma. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and then World War Z, I think that was a type of rabies. Yeah. Which would kind of make sense because at that stage, they're not trying to eat you. They're just rabid. Yeah, that's it. So they're just trying to bite you and then their yeah, saliva it, it, turns you or something. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure that it's been done every, every which way. Like, even from things like... And like a bit more fantasy where it's like witchcraft and someone like like a necromancer reanimates the dead. I've seen it done that way before and like brings like bit that's a bit more like classic zombies coming back from the dead, like breaking out of that's tombs. Your, yeah, and, that's your classic and that is like you're looking back at old zombie folklore, eighteen yeah. excuse me, eighteen yeah. hundreds like zombie Proper, like supernatural yeah. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. that sense. Yeah. And, you know, that that's how they were described back then from the little tiny bit of research I did. Yeah. So, if anything, that's probably more true to the mm, to the zombie to the story. Sort of law. Yeah. Um, did you ever play? I, I think the game was just called Zombie, where it was set in London, and you'd go around doing whatever mission it was, and then if a zombie bit you, you'd die, and then if you went back to where you were, you could find yourself as a zombie, and you could kill it and get all your shit back. No way. Yeah, that's God, cool. It was white. It, oh God. I'll say 360, because I definitely know it was on, um, like, Nintendo Wii and stuff. Right. But, yeah, if you die, it was all set in London, so you'd have, like, the old beef eaters, like, zombies and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, you could go back and find your own character as a zombie, kill it, get your shit back, and fuck off again. That's and so that's cool. That's a really good idea. And that was, like, the whole selling point of the game as well. Yeah. But something like that sells, because you're like, oh, that's cool, that. That is because cool. Because we all know zombie games. We all know pretty yeah. much what they are. And the thing is, yeah, like, just with zombie, And this is what with zombies generally i love the zombie genre so it all appeals to me like if there's a random zombie film on i'll happily watch it oh, even absolutely. if it's a shitty b movie one i'd happily watch it i will happily play any zombie game even though i've played them all and they're all much of a muchness mm-hmm. dead island love it great um oh yeah dead island great game yeah dead I- yeah what was what's the other one state of state of decay state of decay another yeah. one very similar yeah. they're all very similar like Especially now, there's a lot of emphasis on like co op missions where you just group up. Because is there anything better than just getting a load of your mates together and just going around killing zombies? I don't think there is. Like, it just, it's it's like a timeless thing now. And this is the thing with the zombie genre it's just a staple. It is massive. It is, that's one of the few horror subgenres that's successfully made it to mainstream. Yeah. Like uber mainstream. Like, And I think a lot of that will be to do like with shows like The Walking Dead, mm-hmm. which is massive. Yeah. And I think this is the thing, isn't it? Zombie, zombies comes and goes in stages. Zombies to me are very, very much like 3D. 3D makes a massive appearance. Yeah. And it's massive. Then it goes away again for a bit. Yeah. And zombies do, does that. Yeah. Something brilliant that is zombie worthy will come out. And the world will be taken by storm again, like like, like Marvel. Yeah, yeah. And I got hit with it last time because upstairs I've got every book you can think of to do with zombies. Yeah, how to survive, survive a zombie apocalypse, like fucking autopsy reports from fucking like just these really weird weird books that I've picked up on my travels. Are like, oh, these are really cool. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Novelty books, and I got real wrapped up in the in the zombie craze. But actually, it's not that huge right now really it comes back more as games than films but so yeah something like the walking dead will kick that off you know in 2014 there was 55 zombie films come out that year in 2014 that's insane like but that's like when it was huge yeah that was massive because like that was that had been what like three series three of the walking dead which i think was the best series of the walking dead as well when that's when the world was taken by storm yeah yeah you're totally right I think with zombie zombies, it's been done in every which way. Like there's proper like serious zombie films. Like you know, you look at like things like Maggie or um, what's the one that you love? Cargo. The, Cargo. Yeah. Where it's the more like character driven stories, like more like dramas, and it's like you know, it's about protecting your family and what would you do mm-hmm. if like a loved one was bitten. And it's all very serious from like to like your uber gore ones that are ridiculous and like over the top or like b movie ones like 
or even intentionally B movie ones like Planet Terror. Yeah, I love course. that film. You know, Robert Rodriguez, which is made to look like an old B movie, part of the Grindhouse thing. Um, to your whole other end of the spectrum, you z- zombie comedies. Oh yeah, Shaun which of the Dead, are, fucking... Shaun of the Dead, one of the greatest zombie films mm-hmm. ever. Zombieland, incredible, incredible films that are so far removed from like Maggie and Cargo. Yeah. They literally the only thing that connects them loosely is zombies. zombies. Yeah. So zombies, I think that I think that's one of the reasons why it's such a successful genre is it allows you anything. Yeah. You've got free range with zombies because it's a basic concept. Everyone knows what a zombie is. It doesn't mm-hmm. need explaining. It's not like anything supernatural or weird and wonderful or like some crazy bad guy or monster. Zombies are zombies. They're basic. Yeah. They want to eat you. You get bitten, you're infected. Yeah. And that's it. You don't need any more explanation. So you've got free reign with zombies to do whatever you want. And I think that's why I love it. And because no two zombie films are exactly the same. Yeah, the that. B movies probably are. Yeah, which of course is fine. they are. But like, yeah, yeah. I suppose what I mean is you can literally flick from one total different genre, even though it's still zombies to the other. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but then, you, yeah. So then you've got your TV shows like Warm Bodies, Santa Clara Diet, yeah, stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's it's weird, isn't it? When you think you've just got this one thing, but I, I suppose. <laughs> I'm I'm not anyone listening, I'm not putting it in the same category as Star Wars. But this is what I've always said about Star Wars. You've got a whole universe, a whole universe there to play with. Yeah. That's what you've got with zombies. You've got a whole universe to play with. Yeah. But just put fucking zombies in it. They're gonna go through the same issues that yeah. they always will, but you have them issues while you're going through a love story, while you're going through a fucking depression, why you know, like there could be a film about depre you know, like Someone who's depressed that can't live in this world that's full of zombies and yeah. whether they're going to take their own life or something. You know, exactly. like a film like that could be like, fuck, what a brilliant, brilliant film. You know, I, the, the way that they like depict a depression and stuff like that could be fucking amazing. Yeah. You know, like, but then from that to Shaun of the Dead, where it's just some, some dude that wants to go down the Winchester and wait the fucking apocalypse out. Like, yeah. It's just so fucking good. And that, that's why I love it, man. Yeah. Same. That's, that's why I love it. And the thing is as well, you know, it's always good to dress up as a zombie at Halloween as well. Nice and easy one, isn't it? Nice and easy one. Fake blood, couple of fake coats, yeah. and some shitty eye contacts. Yeah. And you look banging. It's an easy one to do. That's yeah. always a big tick, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Here's a question. Go on. So, I really like... I, so, Walking Dead, I think, did this. Now, I didn't watch the latest series of Walking Dead, but I did see... a things on facebook and social media that as the series went on the zombies were more decayed yeah okay. which i really like that yeah I like cool that. that's a great idea that's exactly how it should be so you ain't going to be getting runny zombies are you no. so if you've got runny zombies like sprinty zombies yeah yeah if you can just hold out for a bit yeah. They're going to decay really quick, aren't they? They're going to have no months. muscles. Yeah. So, so they're not they going to be able to sprint. And when they do try and walk, the leg, you think their legs will be snapping and shit. Exactly. And their, their arms tendons. will be falling off. And ligaments. Yeah. Makes no sense, really, does it? <laughs> but no, no. Zombies blood. shouldn't be there's able no, to come at you. There's no blood flow. No. I mean, technically, they're dead. Mm. So there'd be no sexy time with a zombie if that blood ain't going to the old boy. Unless they already had... An erection when the when they when, when they t- when they literally at the moment they turned. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> oh, let's wait out this zombie apocalypse by masturbating. Now, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Got me. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Um, then the idea, which has been done a thousand times as well in serious films, in Shaun of the Dead as well, the idea of not being able to give up on your loved one, mm. even though they've turned into a zombie. Is that never turns out well? No. Unless it's in Shaun of the Dead, where you just tie him up in the garage to and, play and play video games. Play, yeah. Because that's so, what I'd do with you. Yeah, likewise. Claire Black, can I have him back? No. Yeah. No, it's my weekend with him. <laughs> you said I could have him every other weekend, uh... Claire. <laughs> Come on, Call of Duty. Get your Doyle. Uh... Be Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> so how long would you last? Come on. Let's go. Let's go here. How long would you last? Oh, 
Could you last? I couldn't. I'd be dead. I'm fat and unfair. I'd be dead immediately. Oh, Rich, you think? I think so. Well, according to, to Zombieland, the first rule of Zombieland is cardio. Cardio, cardio. cardio game at the moment. Shit. Yeah. I mine, struggle walking up back. the stairs these days, I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I think, right, okay, so we're, we're doing it, right? What we're doing in the zombie apocalypse. Let, let's establish some ground rules. Okay. What are the zombies? They're not sprinters. They're not sprinters. No. So we're going for the classic shufflers. Mm-hmm. I, as most people have done, I have thought this through in my own head a million times. Mm. A million times. And they're always, yeah, they're always shufflers. Maybe not not the living dead shufflers. Maybe a little bit more of a walk. Yeah. You know, just so a bit more like Dawn of the Dead type. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know. I've not thought about this for a long time, actually. Really I used to, we used to go through them all like constantly when we were at uni and stuff, when we all lived together. Because the obvious thing is to do like, on what everyone thinks to do is like, oh yeah, you go to like a supermarket or something, hold out there. But like we said earlier, everyone's doing that. Mm. Not not even just all the zombies are going to go there, but all the other people are going to go there. And you end up going to get fighting other people. And This was my fault because I always said prison. I've always said prison. Yeah. Then Walking Dead did it. Obviously, it would have been in the cartoons first, uh, the comments first, but then Walking Dead did it. I was like, well, that's my idea gone now because other people will be thinking that. Because immediately, I'd be like, there's healthcare. Yeah. There's so much food. If you go to a big prison as well. Yeah. Like an old Victorian one, because it's going to be, it's going. I feel the old Victorian ones have more, it's more fucking brickwork than yeah. just shitty fences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, food for days, and most of that shit's long life. Yeah. Riot gear. So at least, yeah, this is a good you point. You know, like in World War Z, where he's holding the door shut, he just oh, fuck, drop my mic right <laughs> side. He just puts um, gaff tape around his arm, doesn't he? Yeah. So he can't bite him. Yeah, yeah. He's got the right gear, so your arms and your legs are protected. Yeah, you've got that's cautious, a good idea. You've got shields. Yeah, really good point. Uh, there's a gym to work on the cardio. Yeah, I've thought about this. So nice. There's always a gym in a prison to go for a cardio. Um, what else have you got? You've got space. Depending on the jail, so if it's got land. You could plant your own crops. Which most of them will have, won't they? Yeah. Most of them going to have something. Some sort of like sports field or something. Yeah. Turn that into a farm mm-hmm. so you can grow your own stuff because you will run out of food eventually. You've got to think long game. Oh, long God, of course. term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so where you work would be good for that. Yeah. Mine's more of a concrete jungle. Yeah, see, that's, that's going to be the problem. That would be the problem. But I am bang across the road from a hospital. That's handy. It depends where the jail is as well because a lot of jails, are, like some are right in the cities, which I think would be. Mine city centre. Quite. Yours is arsehole of nowhere. Yeah. So that's where I used to think about it the most. When I used to work nights, and my job would be to walk around the prison and lock everything. Yeah. Like make sure everything's double secure locked. I used to walk onto the sports field, which was terrifying. Yeah. At fucking three o'clock in the morning, freezing cold middle of winter. And I would just imagine them walking like yeah, across the, the hordes coming across the, the sports field and being like, right, what to do now? What to do now? What to do? And that's all I used to think about. Yeah. Because thinking of that made me stop thinking about the fact that there's ghosts at your jail, which really scared me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Zombies aren't as scary. We've already established no, that. Not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, problem is though, realistically, let's say mm-hmm. an outbreak started right now. Yeah. How are you getting into the jail? We Well, we work in one, so at least we know the people would recognise us. Yeah, true. So they're like, come in, come in, come in. So that'd be a bit easier. But then I suppose if they've all fucked off, especially most jails have like electric things to get in, don't yeah. they? So is anyone going to be there to let you in? Yeah. Have they all just fucked off, gone to find their loved ones? That's whatever. the thing as well. What are you going to do? Because I've got a child. Yeah. And I'm not with mummy anymore. So do I go get them? Yeah. Because she might be like, I have thought about this a lot in real depressive ways as well. If something bad was to happen, like I would obviously want to go to her. Yeah. But mum's clearly going to want to be with her family. Yeah, of course. So it's like, fuck. I Tricky. definitely, I wouldn't rob at Carlisle it. What? Just hold up in a farmhouse? Just fucking hold up in a farmhouse and leave your fucking missus and kid to die. That was bad, one. That it? was bad. What a shit bag. What a shit bag. Proper shit bag. And the fact that then he lied to the faces and started crying when the kids were like, what happened? Yeah. He's like, I tried. I went back for an Eden, you prick. Such a Eden. prick. He plays it so well, though. He plays it so well. I love Robert Carlyle. I really want to rewatch that 28 weeks later. Yeah. Rewatch. It's, uh, it's on one of them. I, yeah. I, I want to watch re- rewatch 28 Days Later as well, actually. That's not on anything. I've got it on DVD. Classic, oh, okay, old school. Yeah, because that's what I want to watch for 28 Days Later, and it yeah. wasn't on anything, whereas that was. 
So I was like, I'll watch, I'll watch weeks and then watch days when I get the opportunity, but I just didn't. Yeah. So come on, where, where, where are we then? So do you think in prison, not a good idea? I think it is a good idea. If you can get control of the prison, it's perfect. Mm. What are you doing with all the prisoners? I don't know if I can say this. I'm like... <sighs> I know what you're cell thinking. by cell. <laughs> <laughs> They're locked up, my friend, and there's more of us than there are of them in a cell. <laughs> you can just leave leave, leave the cells. Yeah, but there's food in them cells. True. Yeah, true. Unless, if you want to be really nice, not just fucking <laughs> batting them to death. You could just let them out and be like, look, there's your freedom now, mate. Off you go. One by one, oh. take a team in, yeah. let them out the gate, off you go. Here's your freedom, pal. Yeah. Yeah, you could do. <laughs> I got dark. <laughs> <laughs> right, so so that's my job gone. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Let's, cool. let's 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 move away from the prison. Let's move away from prison. We can't get in the prison, right? We can't get in the prison. It's locked. It's of course locked. it is. It's of course it is. It's a prison. Yeah, exactly. The, everyone, the staff all left. There's no way of getting in. Okay, so we can't go there. Hmm. No one ever does it, but the most sensible thing, really... Boat. I mean, that's a genius idea, but I don't own a boat. If we're literally doing the, the real fine details, where are you getting a boat from? Boats are us. Yeah, exactly. And they're not cheap. No, they're not. No, I was going to say the most obvious thing to do is just stay at home. Yeah, I guess so. Because you know your own, you know your own area, you know your house, you know your neighbours... Or your shit's here. Your shit is here. Like, we could probably play COD after boarding up the windows if there's still a bit of internet left. Yeah. Or even if we're held up together. You know, oh, yeah, I'll just come to yours. Split screen. Yeah. I can't get to the kid because, yeah. the you know, baby mum has gone wherever. So split screen, yeah. Split screen. We could watch 28 Days Later on DVD. Yeah, get some prep, like some research in. Yeah. You've got the home gym. So you've still got the home gym. Yeah, so we, all there. so we could do some working out. So do some so work could, out. Yeah, yeah. and, they, 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 and they, can, they and they can double up as weapons as well. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can and, yeah. and stuff. You've got an axe. I've got an axe. You've it's got not. It's not, an, it's not probably not going to work very well. I mean, you could be able to kill someone with it. It hurt. It. You could definitely kill someone with it. It's not sharp though. It's fucking heavy though. It is heavy. It'd be more blunt than sharp. Yeah, yeah but that's that's fine. Yeah. Um, blunt force trauma works. Yeah. Problem is, gonna, it, uh, the problem is always going to be food. It's always going to be food. Because you don't eat a lot in one go, but you eat little and often, mate. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. You'd ha- Long term, you have to grow your own food. Oh, God, of course you would. Which you're good at. I've grown carrots before. Yeah. You, you've got green little fingers, you have. Yeah, I've got a little herb you? garden. So yeah. we can season our bland food that we've made. Exactly, yeah. Potatoes. Potatoes are where it's at. Potatoes are at. How long before we eat, Claire? Mm, three days. <laughs> 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 Still got pasta in the cupboard. <laughs> I don't want pasta again. Claire, get your foot. <laughs> Claire, we're not going to eat you. I yeah, promise. Yeah, yeah. Yet. Unless we're zombies. Yeah. Then we're, then... Oh, yeah. Th- you're fucked then, yeah. unfortunately. Which I will be, because I'm not surviving. Mm. Like all, Everything I'm saying is definitely fucking not true, because I wouldn't last two minutes. I would be dead. <sighs> Do you think? Even with I shufflers, th- mate. I think you got to be you got to be clever with it. <sighs> Even with shufflers. Yeah, but I, if you, you you just kick yourself out like Brad Pitt, get like some armor on or something. Mm. I don't own armor. Yeah, but he made armor with magazines that he just sellotaped to himself. Oh, I do have magazines. Because that's the point as well. Because realistically, zombies they've just got regular old human teeth. Oh yeah, they are. Like. I'm not biting through anything particularly tough with my teeth. No, they'd fall out first, wouldn't they? Yeah. So, you know, if you just cover yourself in something vaguely hard that's not going to get easy to pierce through. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it, yeah. I think you're right, aren't you? I've got magazines here. I've got gaffer tape. Yeah. Josh, I'm not sure we have. Can you go buy gaffer tape (laughs) just in case zombies come? Yeah. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, Yeah. All right. What's your weapon of choice? Hmm. If we could have anything. No, it, we're sticking with what we can actually get hold of. So in this house right now. Yeah. Right. I've already got myself in trouble with the uh, <laughs> with work. 
D- probably not with the police. I don't talk about everything I've got in the house. <laughs> um, the dildo. The dildo. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, fuck. What have I got? Um, I don't own a baseball bat. I've got a baseball bat. Um, I've got guitars, but I don't think they'd be very good. Yeah. I think I would I'd definitely have a knife on me at all times. We've got some pretty sharp like cooking knives, yeah. so I'd always have a knife on me. Yeah. Maybe a couple. Mm. You know, a little jabber. Because yeah. got you gotta remember, in a month's time, mate, the humans are coming free as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't it. trust oh, yeah. other people, yeah. so it's not just zombies. So I need something big for the zombies, but then like these little cool little flick knives when the people yeah, come yeah, up to yeah. you're like, ah, yeah. even with the zombies to be fair, I think a shield is you don't see that enough in zombie films. Just get a shield because that's yeah. perfect. You can keep up at arm's arm's distance. You know, especially if you've got like a see-through riot shield, you can see them. They ain't getting yet. And then either people you're with or yourself with a little jabber, you can jab over the shield and just fucking pierce their brains. You're going full spot in there, aren't you? Well, that's what well, I yeah. mean. It's, it's literally the best. But we're talking about things we have in a house. But you can make a shield out of anything, really. Ironing board? Yeah, that'd work. Yeah, you can make it out of an ironing board, couldn't or... you? Or sofa cushion. Sofa cushions. In fact, when we play with the swords, I've got swords. Get yeah. in. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Little and normally makes me use a cushion as a shield when she's yeah, whacking there you shit go. out me. Um, what else have I... What else? Have, what is my other weapons that I could use? So you've got the axe. I've got the axe. You've got the... Dumbbells. I wouldn't use the axe though, because yeah, the dumbbells a bit. Also, you got to think, you got to have something that you can quickly hit. Yeah. After a while, swinging an axe or a fucking. Dumbbell. I've got a sled, like I've got a sledgehammer. It's going to get heavy. There ain't no it? way you're using that. It's too heavy. No. It's too heavy. It's too unwieldy. And as Dead Rising taught us, if you just attach a grenade to either side of the sledgehammer, <laughs> banging. Yeah. It blows up everything around you. Yeah. you. Yeah. That's that's how things work. Yeah, but also if you uh, put jewels and a car battery together, it made a lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something obvious that I could use as a weapon. We've got to be forgetting something obvious. Hammer. Classic. Classic hammer. hammer. I've got classic hammer. With a shield, a little hammer over the top. Ooh. Yeah. And they're not that heavy really, are exactly. they? Exactly. So it's you got could... a claw hammer as well. Yeah. I think that's perfect. Hammer and shield. I just need to make a shield that summer. So what I might do is then, because we, it all comes in handy, I'm going to go buy a tools belt. Yeah, I don't that's do what you need. I don't do any DIY at all. Yeah, but you'll but need got, to. One day, I'll have a tools belt, so a couple of knives in there, yeah. my hammers in there. Yeah. Nail gun. Ah, nice, yeah. yeah. Just pew, 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 pew. Yeah. Um, other than that, I have nothing that's that offensive in the house, really. No. That's the problem when you have a kid. You can't have offensive mm, stuff in the house. That's true, yeah. The thing is, as well, we'd be it'd be totally different for us in a realistic zombie world because we're obviously in the UK. Very few firearms, you know, like it, it, all the classics: Dawn of the Dead, Walking Dead. They've all got machine guns and pistols and shotguns and the lot. Realistically, we haven't got that. We're we sure, got we're Shaun in the Dead in, in it with so like I a spo- cricket bat, cricket bat. So I suppose a good place to go would be a farm. Yeah, because you go to these farm, they've probably got a shotgun somewhere. Yeah. Of some kind. They're going to have some sort of air rifle, aren't they? Yeah. Kyle's got, um, he does airsoft. That'd hurt him. Ping. Yeah, that'd, pew, pew. That'd, that'd mildly irritate them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow, my head. <laughs> you, well, actually, I was making more angry, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, what we've got is that would be fucked in a zombie apocalypse because we live in the UK. We don't really have anything in our houses that we could use. And we just want to stay in the house. We'd just starve to death, wouldn't we? We would just starve. I think to that's death. a problem. We'd starve to death. You have to. I think realistically, you'd very quickly have to start turning on other humans. I've, everyone would. And like, this is this is my problem. And this, yeah, this is the th- go on. You what, what? I love everybody. Like, yeah. I don't have a bad bone in me to other people. Yeah, I'd really struggle because someone could physically punch me in the face five times. And I wouldn't want to hit them back because I wouldn't want to hurt hurt the feelings. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, no, I, I'm that mean. type of person. So I would really struggle. So going into like a family, like a, you know, like, you know, a family of, with like four kids and you're like, you know, me and you marching, I'm like, give, give, us your, food. Give, give us your food. I couldn't do it. Ah. I'd end up giving them mine. <laughs> Just chop my you hand off. definitely die in straight I'm too nice and I'm fat. <laughs> I'm a fat, cuddly, lovely man. That's all it oh. is. You'll be, you'll quickly be eating people as a zombie, though. 
Yeah, I know, but that wouldn't be my fault. Yeah, you true. can't blame me. It's like you can't blame me for what I've done after a tequila. Well, yeah, because I'd be coming to I'd become a zombie then. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've not done very well with this, really, have we? No, I think we our plan needs needs work. It does need work. So I need people to comment on the post that we put up for this episode of telling us your weapon of choice and where you'd go. Yeah. So I would like to hear other people's, because I bet we're going to hear some banging ones. Oh, there'll and be you know some what? quality ones. Try and make it realistic, but you can go a bit crazy. You can yeah. take the yacht. Yeah. You can, yeah. you know, yeah. mansions, whatever you want to yeah, do. Yeah, that's it. Boat was a great idea, though. Boat Max's was a great idea. family's got boats, haven't they? Sure. Let's go on that. <laughs> where do they live? <laughs> France. Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's not that far, though, is it? We could run that. Yeah, yeah. Do you know where would be a good place to go? Pack a good bag and go up Snowdon with a big coat. It'd be chilly, though, wouldn't it? It'd be chilly, but they ain't following you up there. No, no. I bet they I bet they don't like inclines as much as I don't. Yeah, true. They start slipping, they're like, ah, oh, fuck this. Yeah, fuck this. Fuck this noise. Yeah. Not, they... not going to be a lot around there either, is it? No. Not a lot of people. No. And again, But again, we're going to run out of food. Yeah, true. But that's when we can just take, like, Kyle and keep sending him down for food runs. Yeah, but, again, not a lot of places to run to. <laughs> like it's Snowden, <laughs> is there? All right, my ideas aren't very good. It's difficult. It's difficult. It is difficult. In this country, it's very difficult, because we're also a very small country. Yeah, we're tightly packed. With a lot of people in here. We're like yeah. a sardine can, aren't we? Yeah, you're, all, you're never fully escaping people. No, you're not. You're not. Oh, it's going to be tough. Mm. You're definitely avoiding the cities. You're avoiding cities, yeah. Avoiding the cities, even big towns. So you need a little village. Really, really, you need to strengthen numbers. Full on Spartan, that shit. Shield walls with fucking spears and stuff. You need to literally go back 500 years. So we've seen... (laughs) <laughs> we've seen 300 when we've all got these amazing shields and they're all really tight it's yeah. you, me, Max, Josh, <laughs> Kyle ironing board, pillow give <laughs> <laughs> me an hammer doink over the top doink yeah. we'd last at <laughs> least <laughs> like <laughs> we'd be intimidated we would <laughs> with our fucking <laughs> like um, pots and pans helmets <laughs> We've got a fucking gang of yobs coming up to us. Like, oh, it gives you shit. We're like, no. no. <laughs> Shield wall. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen that in a zombie film, no, have we? we? That, we're making that film. Yeah. We should write the script now. What would you say is probably the most realistic depiction of zombies you've seen? It's a hard question because I don't know the answer to that either. What's the re- most re- Probably Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. I know it sounds daft, but it's probably like... That's what's funny about it is that's how the Brits would do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it just sort of happens sort of quite gradually, doesn't it? Even though it's all within like a, a day or two, it's just like, oh, there's the odd zombie. You don't really take notice of it. Like, what the fuck's that? Like, and then suddenly, I don't know, you you would panic, wouldn't you? You'd like yeah. get in the car and you go like, all oh, right, we're going to get going to go get the missus or whatever and go get the family and then think. To the pub. To the pub. Because they've got beer, a pool yeah. table and food in yeah. the kitchen. And we'll just grab random shit. Literally what we just said, grab random shit around the house to use as weapons. Yeah. Or we'll go in the shed, get a spade. I've got a spade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know. have green fingers. Yeah. Um, and that's, I, I think that's why it's so great. Like, you're right, it's such a great film because it's almost relatable. It's weird, isn't it? It's weird that the best depiction of zombies that you can think of is Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. That's why it's brilliant. What a fantastic film. Again, and I think that's why an, another reason why zombies is so popular. I don't know if I've said this already, but because it's relatable, like it, you know, yeah, it's, like, it's set in the real world. It's yeah. not like as stupid as it sounds, it's almost believable. Yeah, oh like, God, yeah, like, absolutely. Okay, you know, because the the villains are easy to understand, and it's like you're just in the real world. What you're doing? You're in your house now, right? Zombies coming. What are you gonna do? It's not much different from being scared walking around town because there's a gang of hooded youths. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. be honest. Like, I don't really... Oh, I feel very uneasy walking around here because these guys are kicking fucking shop windows in. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah. Like, I could be hurt in a minute. Let's just go somewhere safe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's really not that much different. No. It's quite... Quite interesting. Mm. Should we leave it there? 
yeah, why don't we end with, I know we've already said it, but a little summary. Favourite film, game, TV show, zombie Ooh, related. Okay. So film, I'm going to go Cargo. Oh, yeah. I am. Nice. I know, like, it's hard because it's a different genre. Yeah. Because it would be 28 Days Later. Yeah. But really, as much as I love that film, if we're going for anything with zombies in, Cargo is one I tell everybody to watch. Yeah, okay. Game, I'm going to go Dead Rising as a franchise because I love yeah. them all. Probably, okay. if, if any, three over them all. Yeah. Um, and TV show. See, I did love Walking Dead mm. up until a certain season. Yeah. And I was like, this is dog uh, Same, shit. same. So you got to go Walking Dead, but I can't. There's not really, there's not many other TV. I watched, what was it called? Black. Black no. something. Black some, Black Winter. Black Summer? Black Winter or something like that? It sounds familiar, yeah. I did start watching that. It wasn't that great. Um, so I'm going to have to go Walking Dead up until like season six. Right. Whatever it was. Yeah. What's yours? I've already said game on the mm. game Left 4 Dead, but if it was franchise, it'd be Resident Evil. Because for me, OG Left 4 Dead. My yeah, favorite. of course, yeah. Film. <laughs> I'm going to stick with 20 Days Later. I think it's, I think it's the best zombie film. Yeah, but yeah. In my just in my opinion, there's loads, there's loads of others that I love that that could be contenders. Day, Day, Dawn of the Dead's fantastic. Zombieland, Shaun of the Dead, mm-hmm. oh, and so many greats. But I'm going to stick with 20 Days Later. TV show. I'm going for Kingdom, which oh, was I've the still not seen that South Korean one, which is set in like feudal career so it's like you know they've got swords and bows and it's incredible it's a very slow start takes a couple episodes to get into it but totally worth it and that would be my recommendation like it is incredible it's only two series um but it is so cool it's so heroic it's just quite a different take on it as well because obviously it's like you know feudal career and it's yeah, like, yeah. so you know running around they're not got like guns and machine guns so and the zombies are scary and there's hordes of them and it's like you can't just get in a car and drive away of you know? course yeah you yeah, know yeah. you're literally like oh shit i'm just gonna have to run through the woods and get away from them um so and that's a cr- incredible show that i really want to watch rewatch so i'm gonna go kingdom yeah i'm changing mine to last of us <laughs> Oh yeah, I completely of course. forgot we've just watched that. And yeah, I yeah, yeah, every second of yeah. it. Yeah, again, very different kind of zombies. Yeah, yeah, clickers. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I think there's some good choices there. Absolutely. Right. So yeah, let's call it for this week then. Yeah. Sorry, it's a little short one, but this is what you're getting for the next few weeks because we're busy people. We've got to try to do a couple in a night. Yeah. And we got pasta to eat because Josh has finished cooking. Exactly. So, but, uh, but yeah, let us know what your um what you would do in your in a zombie apocalypse. Yes, please let us know. It can be as crazy or as realistic as you like, but we want to hear because we want to see something that we haven't thought of. Yeah. Basically. And if and if there's any zombie film books games recommendations out there, because there will be loads of which oh, I touched will be, on. Yeah. Let us know as well, because I'm always on the look for something new and cool. Definitely. All right, so uh, I suppose leave us with uh, leave us with your favourite zombie noise. Do you want me to do it? Yes, please. Uh... Peace. <laughs>